Hello everybody. So one of the questions I get asked quite a lot is about my water change routine and what I do with the amount of water I've got. So here um, I've got some filter cartridges for my HMA filter, um, which a few people have asked me about. Um, typically you'll change your water by adding some kind of dechlorinator to tap water, uh, but instead of doing that I use these cartridges for HMA filter cartridges, so the right way around. Uh, so an HMA, what is it? It's a water filter that's HMA stands for heavy metal axe. Um, quite often used um, just in, in regular for drinking water, things like that, for getting rid of chlorine tastes and smells and things like that. Um, they typically consist of um, at least two cartridges, or two, two sections, one being a uh, sediment filter, which come in various sizes, 10 micron, 5 micron, 1 micron, the smaller the better basically, uh, and then some kind of carbon block after that. Um, I've got, I use two at the moment, one for the fish room and one for my main tank. The, I use five micron sediment filters and then two types of carbon block filters after that, so a three stage HMA. Um, it just removes heavy metals and nasties, chlorine, chloramines. Um, it doesn't do anything for nitrates or phosphates, it doesn't harden your water or soften it. it some people say it could affect your pH, but I don't find it does. Uh, and what it specifically what it removes and what it doesn't or how effectively it does it depends on the type of cartridges you buy. Uh, so these are relatively cheap ones because the water I've got is quite good to start with. But anyway, we'll take you out and show you this is my garden tap where I've got a line that runs straight from the tap up through the drainage pipe along and into the box up there and then what then up there and that thing comes into the box that sits in the basket and then so we've got one of my pockets. So both the filters I use are three stage filters. So it's a sediment filter, carbon block and carbon chips. Uh, I run them all at like 4 litres a minute when they're on. Just kept in this box to keep it the heat in, well, to stop it freezing during winter. Um, and that's the one I use for my display tank. So when I, when I need to use it, it's always on. I've got a tap in the box itself. Uh, you've seen some of my other videos of it filling up the tap, uh, filling up the tank. And then in my fish room, I've got hot and cold water, which run in through a thermostatic valve. So I can, if I want, do uh, water changes at the correct temperature, so I can run it out at 30 degrees. Um, I've also got a bypass in there just for cold, so I can use the hose that I've got connected down at the bottom as well. But it goes in through a little screw-on cap into the water line. In one end, same deal again down there. Got sediment filter, two carbon filters, carbon block and carbon chips. Through various flow restrictors and things like that. And then I go up. Got the line going into one tank where I can hold the tank for doing large water changes. Uh, and a little T so that goes off to feed each of the tanks individually with drippers. Uh, you'll notice I've upgraded this from the airline to proper water line. Uh, it just wasn't very secure so I upgraded that a little bit. Um, uh, yeah, so that's all teed off into each tank individually and I've got another one going off into this tank. So that's how I do all the water changes. Constant drips, and I can do big water changes as well using the, the one up at the top. So, I'll 
change this one now, so I'll just a quick look there again. I've got the thermostatic valve, I usually just use it on cold, but during the winter I might turn on the hot water ones. So it comes out at temp, but I find it doesn't make much of a difference to the temperature in the room uh, or the tanks themselves. Yeah, so basically you just have to unscrew each of these. Replace the cartridge inside. Fill it up. Let's check the temperature there. Yep. Yeah. A bit colder than usual, but the water's coming, as they say. So note the colour of that first cartridge there on the right hand side. That is the number one reason why I don't just use the chlorinator and things like that. Um, I'll get that out and see it a bit clearer. So I'll come with this little spanner tool, get it loosened off, and let's pretty much do it by hand after that. Obviously turn the water off before we start this. Now, these are 10 inch cartridges, you can buy 20 inch, you can buy 2 stage HMAs, 3 stage, and all that will depend on what flow rate you want to use and how much life you get out of it. So I, I change these, these are 10 inch, run them all at 4 litres a minute, and I change every 6 months. So, this is the sediment filter, so basically just the polycarbonate and floss thing. Six months of dripping water. With I'll show you an original one or a new one. Put the camera everywhere. So compare them side by side, and that is why I don't just dechlorinate the water because that is disgusting. So I hope that explains a little bit and gives you an introduction into HMA filters. Um, it's probably worth doing quite a good Google session on the various ways you can put them together uh, or find again, find a good breeder or a good retailer that will sell them uh, and they can advise what you need for your situation. I mean, you'll hear terms like PCB, CBR, Chlor Plus, Pentec, Spectrum. Uh, they all mean various things, but essentially, when you break it down, it's some kind of sediment filter, which will take out the larger particles, and then some kind of chlorine, a uh, carbon-based filter, whether it's a carbon block, porous carbon block PCB, probably, um, CBRs, carbon briquettes, I think, and um, yeah, so you get all all manner of. Um, ways to put them together. You get two stage, three stage, ten inch, twenty inch. Um, if you run a, a three stage with two carbon blocks, you get a bit of a higher flow rate than a one with chips and a block. And there's various ways to skin the cats. Um, so the life that you'll get out of it. Um, will very much depend on your particular situation so it's a good idea to check out um, all the variables that you can get um, but I think it's it makes sense to me financially as well because of the amount of water that I'm going through um, if I was to use Prime or even one of the other less economical um, the chlorinators um, that cost a small fortune just buying those bottles every couple of months. I know you can, I know Safe and Prime from Seachem are very good, and I, I do have them and do use them. Um, but this just makes sense, especially when you saw the state of that first um, filter, the crap that you're removing from your water it makes it worth it alone. Um, but yeah, I hope that's given you a good introduction. 
Um, if you're interested, drop me a comment and let me know what you think. If you have any questions, again, stick them in the comments and I'll get back to you. And as always, subscribe, like, share, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks very much.